I love that. Beep, boop, beep. Now to a, a gaming, a sector we cover a lot on this show. Disney is looking at buying Naxon, the maker of the game Maple Story. You probably haven't heard about it, but we're talking big bucks. Joining us now, Gail Dickey, Gamer World News Entertainment <laughs> CEO. Gail, tell our viewers what this is all about. What? Why is Naxon a big deal? Well, Nexon's a great big deal because it's one of the 12 most lucrative game makers on the planet. They had earnings last year of $2.25 billion. Uh, just to give you a little perspective, the South Korean global gaming market is about $5.7 billion. So that would mean 39% of those revenues are attributed to Nexon. They have an amazing group of 80 live games. They're in 190 countries. Uh, I think it's a major move by Disney to enter into the game platform business and directly compete against Epic and Steam, which would mean that they would have a different business model because they've been known as a play-to-win model for most of their uh, years since about 2005, which has been highly criticized. But these games are amazing. They will add to Disney's IP, look for them to become uh, narrative in terms of TV and film, especially Maple Story, which has had an 81% year-over-year growth. Uh, also, what's interesting about this story is Kim Jong-ju re reached out to Disney and literally asked a high-level executive to purchase their company because his statement was, reportedly saying that Disney is a company that doesn't force kids to buy their products. In fact, families gladly pay them. Ah. So this is a great move. I think it, it bodes well for Disney's, uh, what, what can we call it, global dominance yeah. in every vertical uh, now, in the entertainment space. Gail, Maple Story is one of these games where you play and you have to buy, you know, within the game. You know, I, I think I read somewhere you can spend up to $4,000. What do you get for $4,000? You get, like, eternity? You can't be killed? Or, I mean, what do you get for that? Right. So let me be clear about that. Next on, you know, there's a lot of different places you can go, open market, to buy these type of uh, digital assets that help you right. live longer. Right. Uh, they help you respawn and, and stay in the game. But one of my interns was telling me uh, over the weekend that he's got friends that spend twenty to 25000 in this game. And oh by the God. way, they're not winning money. They're just staying alive in the game. Wow. Wow. So what's the age Pretty group crazy. of these players? Clearly it's not, hopefully not 12-year-olds with their parents' credit cards. <laughs> well, the age range, um, my uh, intern Armin's been playing the game since he's 10. He's now 24. So most of the kids that have been playing this have been playing 15 years. But it is a, a very easy entrance uh, to uh, play the game because it's, it's very... Um, it's sweet, it's compelling, and you, it's right. a role-playing game, so you join in with a lot of people to help defeat the antagonist, which at this point is called the Black Mage. The Black Mage, and you could spend thousands of dollars keeping yourself alive while you try and do that. <laughs> Gail Dickey, great stuff as always, Gail. Thank you very much. Appreciate your input. Thank you. Gaming is absolutely remarkable these days.